got another package today from China MS fifth floor Ping Chung Tower rich industrial zone all right let's open it up so inside the thing there is a kit as you can see here and, uh, some specification maybe you're gonna find some diagram you never know but first what do you need for this project you're gonna need some soldering iron something to clean the tip the compound and a 03 mil solder optional you're gonna need one of these pliers to cut uh, the thing all right so let's get started all right so let's open the bag to see what do we have inside here Ooh, 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 loads. Oh my god. Full friends. Okay, full. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty then. Here you go, friends. <coughs> you got the diagram as well. Remember it. And on the back we got the, the printed board as well. With some specification and who goes where and so on. Nice one. This time done it yourself nice i like this all right so let's start by taking a look at the, at the board seems all right we got here the leds on the left side on the right side as well some chips some whatever is going to be this one potential meter i guess and this one doesn't make anything all right so let's put this one aside we got some wires that's good to know and this one, what? 2017. What that means? Nobody knows. All right. So we got some resistors. Another resistors. This is all the stuff that you can get in the in the bag as well. The LEDs, the board, two transistor, the chip, uh, 555 timer, a capacitor, another one, some resistors, a variable resistor, and these short key diodes whatever they are called. All right, so let's proceed to the assembly thing. Before we're gonna start, <coughs> as you can see here, they got some drill uh, holes in this board, you know, to be able to snap this board if you want to put the LEDs uh, apart, you know, and then you're just gonna need to ex extend these wires. This is very clever, man. I tried to design one of those boards. I sent uh, the design to JLC PCB as well, and they said, no, it's impossible to drill these holes to make some kind of kit. Terrible, terrible. All right, so let's get started. One more thing before we're gonna start, we have to check those resistors, but as I'm seeing on the on the board, the three of them should be 10K. Yeah, so these are the three of them stashed together are 3K or what 10k sorry and these two of them should be 100 yeah that's it 100 ohms all right so now we can truly start it all right so let's get started i'm gonna start first with this chip this is a cd4017be i'm gonna put the links as well down below and some pictures you have here as you can see here, they got a small notch in the front of it. You see, this notch here is gonna go here. All right. So we're gonna adjust the pins to fit these tiny holes. Come on. Managed to put it in. Now we're gonna put a 555 timer chip as well. We're gonna now flip the board like so, and we're gonna start solder the pins. All right, bear with me for a while. Nice and steady. There's no rush. You have to do it pretty and steady, yeah? Because this the chip is very important. The rest is like auxiliary components, so nobody's gonna care about this. But this each and every pin is 
quite mental so you have to do it steady and easy if you have some pins so this is the most important component of the board these two of them these chips the rest is just practice this is one another way to practice how to solder and learn as well as you go to the components and electronics and you never know when you're gonna come across it so for me it's just passion I do like it quite a few quite a bit well I don't know about you guys but as, uh, as long as you're gonna stick around you're gonna learn something so it's better to be prepared in life than to not know jack shit about how stuff is going on and you're gonna get tricked like this review that we are making you know besides we are t uh, testing these chinese suppliers on top of it we are le learning how to solder and we're learning the diagrams the principle of functioning these kits so you're not overpricing these components you are buy them straight and you cannot uh, get cheaper than this and if you have a little bit imagination we're gonna start to modify them to do something else like always we do here with electronics and stuff not just assemble them and put them in a shelf and so we're gonna use them properly and <coughs> we always try to make something out of them all right so the chips are in place now we're gonna start with these transistors these are what 50050d331 as you can see here the diagram it's got a flat thing and a round you're gonna put the transistor accordingly to this diagram with the flat face in the flat drawing have to watch this pin they're very tiny tiny holes all right one is here and the other one is like so they're trying to make this board very nice all right so remember one is facing the flat this way and the other one the other way we're gonna turn the board on and again we're gonna put some plugs and then we're gonna solder the pins of the of this board nice and steady one by one no rush nobody is rushing us because we're gonna we want to make it pretty and lasting because we have we have pay for it so uh, smite we can enjoy it yeah nice and steady hand okay so i have managed this one what's next the this kind of diodes yeah because uh, and the hand key okay. all right so we're gonna take one resistor we're gonna bend it like so we're gonna insert it in this tiny hole oh boy do we like tiny holes yep here we go then we're gonna spread the legs huh how about it okay and then we're gonna insert these three diodes in the same way we have uh, inserted the resistor All right, we have managed to put the resistor here. This uh, the diodes here. This is quite tricky because the space is very narrow, so we have to bend it before it. Now we're gonna flip the board, and we're gonna solder them in place. We have soldered these uh, diodes in place. Now we're gonna put a hundred ohm resistor on the bottom here right where the resistor are ending 
diodes. Okay, I'm gonna solder this one as well very quick, and half of it is nearly done. Apart from the LED, which is gonna be quite a thing to do it because there are a few of them. All right, here we're gonna put the cables now on this side. I'm gonna put this pot, which I think is gonna adjust the frequency how fast is gonna do it. Another 10k resistor. I'm gonna put it here on top. And the same like on the other side, we're gonna put those uh, three diodes. We put them in place and now a little bit flux and I'm gonna start sorting the like we did on the, the other side the diodes the 10k resistor on top and it's gonna be another 100 ohm on the bottom yeah these resistors and diodes are very easy to fix just the resistor doesn't matter which way you're gonna put it in but the diode has a uh, black dot that show you the direction where you have to put it so it's pretty straightforward you cannot go wrong there and by the way you can save these pins from resistor this kind of thing that we're gonna cut them later on to use them as um, fuses for um, 18650 cell packs and so on so nothing is getting it throwing away everything is reused oops I need to touch the thing is ready to go. Come on friend. That's it. Got most of the components in place now what's left is the capacitor one is polarized like this and it's show you here you know plus and minus so minus plus is the longer lead and minus is labeled minus as you can see so minus and we got this tiny unpolarized capacitor which doesn't matter how we're gonna put it you're gonna just put it here next to his brother yeah? and that should be it twist the board apply some flux and then solder the thing in place some bees try to enter the room but we got a window net as you can see in the description below so the fucking bastards cannot enter in the room and disturb us from our project. Is it tricked to solder or who knows? Come on. Okay, okay. 
okay we got most of the components in place the only left the only components left in place is the leds so we're gonna make this part red and this one blue okay and as you can see the led it's got the flat side as well, as you can see it like so. You see, on this bottom part, it's got a flat side, meaning this one. So the flat side, the flat is the minus terminal. And as you can see here on this board, so we're gonna put it like so or the other way, minus is on top, yeah? Minus plus minus all are facing in the same direction. It's gonna be easier. Easy peasy, not in easy. And these LEDs to make them stay is gonna be a tricky one. But there are a few of them so. What if I get flat? Huh. So you see, we need something to be able to make them pretty. All right, friends, we have something strange going on here. As you can see here, all the, the LEDs are facing one direction. But over here, one is facing down, one up, one down. So according to the diagram, are all facing the same direction. Uh, this one could be a mistake of printing. Never know. But I'm seeing on this side is um, all facing the same direction as well. Alright, so we will see. How we gonna do it this one all right so final thoughts uh, i thought that this is an error of the diagram but actually they are wired different here from the other side so we're gonna put the leds as they are instructed here and if not we're gonna reverse them there so you can be very careful of this one one is facing up down up down all right so we're gonna do as they told us all right let's start in the things. It's not prepared yet. With the LEDs you have to move fast because you don't need to hold your tin for long periods of time. have to find something to hold them nice and steady in place but what still I'm searching especially with the these you know if you don't have something special to hold them in place properly they're gonna be looking creepy so we don't want that let's see what the fuck Find a way. There's not enough room. That's it. Yeah, it's gonna be a while, friends. So, 
want to see all this thing. Oh, it's 20 minutes now, so. Last pin for the LEDs. It was a while. Uh, you see what I mean? If we don't have nothing special to hold them in place properly, they're gonna be looking like like so, a little bit creepy. So we don't want that. So not proper aligned. Eh, after all, not that bad. Right, we've finished uh, one side, now we're gonna put the LEDs on the other side and then we're gonna start to solder the LEDs. As you can see it's very easy, like on the other side with the complementation that on this side are all facing the same direction. I don't know what's happening on the other side. They must have a reason, we're gonna analyze the circuit later on. Alright, so... The same with the flat facing this way, and the flat side facing downwards. That means longer pin facing up. Longer pin I said facing up. I think one tip if you can manage to solder the LEDs in one position even if it's crooked or so my advice is to leave it there because when you try to, to straighten the LEDs up you can damage the board you can break the tiny connection there so put it as flat as you can and it ain't gonna matter if you want oh for fuck's sake 